Hi, everyone. My name is Jamila Kamvadi. I am a sophomore at, uh, at Thousand Oaks High School, and I'm also an entrepreneurship ethos student. You all must be wondering, who am I? What am I wearing? I'm a, I'm a Dawoodi Bora Shia Muslim. I am wearing what is called a rida. It, it is an Islamic requirement for limiting a woman's figure while remaining beautiful to the eye. It resembles a woman's respect, dignity, and value. Ever since I was a young girl, I would always look up to my mom, wondering if I'll be just like her someday, a strong, confident, successful, and beautiful woman. But I never knew it would come with so many challenges. Here I stand today, wearing my rida for the past three years, and I'm a proud Bora Muslim who is confident in herself just like her mom. Now, there were some obstacles while wearing my rida. I got bullied for what I wear and what I stand for. In one incident, I was walking from class to class and I'm just minding my own business. And these bullies would walk up to me, try attempting to trip me, vile labeling me as a terrorist. Now, at first, I really didn't know what to think about that or how to feel about that. But later on, I started thinking more and more about it and realizing that I know who I really am and I should just ignore whatever they say and whatever they do to me because, I, like I said before, I really know who I am and I should just look at the bright, bright side and look forward to seeing my friends later on in that day. I, I started wearing my rida after my eighth grade coronation and my parents never really forced it on me. It was my choice and well, you can see, I chose to wear it. But from, wearing, but from wearing my rida, I noticed that the teachers around me and my other peers around me supported, every, supported my decision and, and embraced me in my rida. This was the moment that I was, that I was aware of my diversity and my culture and how, I'm, and how I'm making a difference for myself, my community, and how I'm representing it in the best way I can. As I transitioned from middle to high school, I had a, a huge opportunity to make brand new friends and to have a fresh start. Now, it wasn't easy at first, but as the days went by, I started to fit in much more with everyone else. So I made pretty good friends. And now, you all must be wondering how I how I do how do I do sports in my rhythm or can I do sports in my rhythm? Well, I've done many sports in my rhythm. Let me tell you that. I've done <laughs> swim, basketball, archery, horseback riding, hiking, even skiing. Like skiing in a skirt. Like how is that even possible? But it is. I'm also a very adventurous person. I've traveled many places. And, and I love to travel and I'm passionate about traveling. But when I travel, no one really, I'm not really restricted in my rhythm. People don't like stop me from doing anything that I want to do if I'm wearing my rhythm. And that's what I love about traveling. In my rhythm, I know that anything is possible and with the people around me supporting every decision I make shapes me to a better person. In, in our community, education is highly emphasized on. We have women in every, in every um, field wearing rida. There are doctors, entrepreneurs, lawyers, teachers, and many other professions wearing rida. My rida, it's my confidence, my identity, and it what connect, it's what connects me to all of you. It gives me a better perspective for a better tomorrow. My rhythm is my, in my rhythm, I know who I am and I, I know where I belong. Right here, thank you.